What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? Listen, I just did a uh, not a live. I'm sorry. Don't give me the line. Not a live. Not a live. I just did an upload, complete an upload, okay, for you guys. And it always happens. Spinner had me put the um, decks back where they're supposed to be. And some got me back to this deck, okay? <laughs> I gotta look at the name of the deck, y'all. I honestly forgot the name of it. Hold on. Is this that one? I think it's the Gypsy Oracle deck. Yeah, I think this, yep, it is. Uh, if anybody interested in this deck, it's called the Gypsy Oracle deck. Oracle cards, I'm sorry. Um, but I don't know. I love this deck, and it's another one that I love too. That's a new deck. Um, but you guys had some messages come out, and I don't know who this is for, okay? So, my sister just delivering the messages, okay? So, don't shoot the messenger. So, listen, you guys have somebody in your energy, or someone in your energy knows of a soldier, and I feel like they honestly, what I'm picking up, unfortunately, is that this person is in conflict with what to do. They know they want to do the right thing by telling you something. And that's that someone stole something from out of your bedroom or living room or dining room. I just know it's a damn room, okay? So whoever this soldier is, they could have just retired from um, the Air Force, Marines, the Army. And they know of either your friend or either their friend. I don't know if you had something going on in your home. Okay. They didn't specify. Ooh, yeah, I don't get no friends. Okay. Listen, let me get this message to y'all. Okay. Because I'm going to sit down and watch the TV show. Okay. So this soldier, I don't think you're friends with this person. I'm not picking up that you and this person are friends. I pick I, What I did pick up strongly is that you know this soldier through another individual. And I'm picking up that you guys had this soldier like a, a, a friend or a family member or something introduce you to this soldier. This person could have just came back home within a year time frame. I'm also picking up that this soldier was really nice and pleasant. They actually got the hot spot. You think you're really nice looking? You know what I'm saying? I just heard they like your ass. <laughs> and, okay, so let me get, your, get to the message. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. But this soldier could have wore that uniform to your house or your apartment, condo, wherever you live in, honey. I don't know your story. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up, okay? Now, this, this soldier is contemplating if they should come to your home and tell you. I don't feel that they know your phone number. So they can't call you, but they do remember your address. They very they have a very good memory. I'm also picking up that this person is trying to figure out how they're going to tell you that either this is a friend, family member, or whomever this was that was in your house, they seen someone steal something out your home, okay? But I keep picking up some type of room. So I don't know if they was in a room, living room, dining room, whatever it is. But if you find out that something is missing from your home, this is for you. If you know that a soldier was in your home and they actually wore the complete uniform, this is for you, okay? I'm also picking up that this soldier know that someone's trying to actually break in your home. I don't know if this person knows of someone who has a key to your home, so you uh, may need to change your locks. I don't know if y'all call this person something with a lord or L. This could be an older woman. Either this is the soldier or the person that stole something out your home. Whatever it is, it's, it's the value also, and I feel like this is a major tower moment. Either you find out what this is that was taken from your home. I also feel like you're uh, thinking about filing charges against this person and have this person arrested. And the soldier actually is willing to anonymously talk to um, the law. Okay, do you have a message for this particular individual? And spirit just that individual. So this is for two, more than one person, okay? Anything else, spirit, in regards to this situation? Yeah, I feel like some this soldier knows about somebody that's trying to set you guys up. 
Wow, sweetheart. Okay, so what I'm picking up is that this is somebody you used to deal with, unfortunately. Any other messages for this person or persons? This is this is somebody that could have um, actually tried to reunite with you, and you turned this person down. Not the soldier, the person that they're going to tell you about. Or if you turn someone down, but they came into your house just for drinks, cocktails, whatever it was, they could have surprised you. Also, is what I'm picking up. Or they did something that was that came as a surprise in regards to stealing from you. This person could be held in some type of high honor status. I don't know why I'm here invention. I don't know what that's all about. Spirit. Sorry, y'all. This could be somebody actually that you guys go to um, and people like to, um, how should I say it? This is someone that can hold someone's secrets. If you guys, you, the click, can tell anything to them, you know they will never go back to anyone else. This can be someone that's an IT tech or that loves to actually uh, repair things, technical wise. But yeah, it's very sad. This person is your enemy. They've been watching you. Somebody is watching when you leave, when you come home. Yeah. For some of you, this is a friend that's doing this. And a fake friend on top of that because they got a false friend. I'm hearing someone help someone with their um, the technology part in regards to setting up a surveillance camera in your home. They could be tapping into your shit. Watching you. Yeah, they're watching everything. I feel like someone's coming around your home too. Thank you, Spirit. You're really gonna be disappointed. If you if you don't already know who this is, you're gonna be disappointed when you find out who it is. I apologize, I didn't see this one uh, flipped over you guys. Yeah, I feel like this person literally was waiting outside your home watching you. They cocky in a motherfucker, they do not care. I feel like somebody's hiding on some type of a, a top of a building that's near your home. And they're literally looking down watching you. I also feel like it's with a telescope. Wow, this is some creepy shit, okay? And for all too many things, spirit just have um lit up my phone and it's exactly 4 2 p.m. If that means anything to someone. That could be a person's birthday, your birthday. You could have gifted this person some money to help you with the surveillance. Look it up, stand it up, something to that nature. Cards don't lie, y'all, so I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out or somebody's going to see this video and tell you. And you guys who are viewing the messages, the video, if you have an inclination about some type of gathering that was at someone's home that you know of and that person was in full uniform, please share this video with that person, okay? Because I feel like this person want to give them the heads up, okay? Yeah, whatever this was, it was worth some money. It could be um, a family heirloom as well. That's so sad you can't trust people in your own home. It's like you gotta walk out the door. If you gotta do all that, they ain't nobody come to my place, okay? What else here? Do you have anything else in regards to the situation? Okay, last shuffle with this deck? Okay. This person could be a widower or you are a widower. Wow. <laughs> I was getting ready to 
struggle and courthouse came out. So you are going to actually take some type of um, legal um, legal action towards this person. I do feel that this is so this to help you in doing so. I believe you can have a child or this person that has stolen from you has a child. Or you could have a child by this person who stole something out your home. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to mail you something because they don't have your phone number. Or they can actually instant message you through Facebook. Uh, send your message through Facebook. I think I washed too much because I've noticed since I've been washing more lately, um, my washer is getting loose and looser and looser and loose. So where when it spins, it makes this noise. So it's out of balance. Sorry. And I don't like people coming to my house not no maintenance men. If it was a maintenance woman, maybe so. But no, we got made to this man, and I don't want it in my house if I'm by myself. I just feel uncomfortable, sorry. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on here. What else is there going on with the situation? Not the stuff. What are we for warning people? Whatever this is, it's of great value. And I'm feeling like it could be a possible heirloom. Whoa. I'm really serious for you to put my dang on shoes on. I honestly feel like this is somebody that you, you truly dealt with possibly in the past, or one of you had a child by this person, um, you honestly, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you what I picked, okay? You walked away from this person and they um, they tried to get back with you, reconcile with you, but you chose not to. I'm also picking up that whoever this is for, one of you been struggling with your sexuality and you chose to go to the opposite, I mean the same sex, I'm sorry, <laughs> and this person is really pissed at you. They're actually in some type of despair because they thought that you and that person, you and this person had another chance to reconcile, but you're not having it. You're happy with who you're with, okay? And it was just cool. You just wanted everybody to come and have a good time or whatever. Um, I also feel like this person could have gifted you something or you gifted them something. Ooh, sorry, y'all, my head itching, okay? Yeah, because you got somebody new in your life. I feel like when these people came over, yeah, this is your twin. The new person you're with is your twin. They could be a Gemini. Yeah, this person makes you feel really good. And you guys living together. This person could be very well off too. I don't know if this is a man on man or a woman on woman, which you really don't care. It doesn't matter, okay? Anything else here you want to um, say to collectively the Garska situation here before I close out? Anything else here you want to say? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I believe you guys are going to get something from it, whoever this soldier is. Okay. They could be in law enforcement. I don't know. Because we do have, um, I thought I had high honor also. I probably seen when I was shuffling. 
but we do most definitely have official person, a soldier. So this could be somebody that's in the law enforcement that was a soldier, but they was like the, uh, so I'm not too, you know, with the Nate, I don't know what naval, like Marines or something like that come from where they're actually officers, officers. Okay. Um, but I'm picking that up as well. Anything else here before I close it out? Anything else here? Okay. Yeah, this person is not very mature whatsoever. This could be a woman or someone who's very immature. That could be one of the reasons why you chose not to work inside with this person or things did not work out with you guys. But I also picked it up that someone could have lost a loved one too or lost a friend recently. Yeah, he got that for again. Wow. And this is a total different deck. Wait, is this the same deck? Yeah, this is a different deck. Wow. What the hell is going on? Okay, for somebody, somebody having an affair, had an affair with someone, and you were already in a relationship with someone that was more wealthier than a person that you're dealing with. Ooh, okay, y'all. This is messy. So what I'm picking up is that one of you guys in the same sex, okay, and y'all were friends with another same sex couple. You guys were having an affair with that friend, the other friend, same sex couple, okay? And this person was really pissed at you. I, look, y'all know what the hell y'all was doing, okay? Behind closed doors. And you also know what you guys spoke about, okay? Uh, this is messy. I don't know if this person gave you a gift and this is what they stole from some of you because this is a different person. This is a different energy that I'm picking up. I'm picking up two same-sex couples. You guys had sex with your friends, significant other, partner, wife, husband, whatever you want to call it, okay? And they gave you something of importance that was very uh, expensive too. This is not the person who has a um, a family heir heirloom that was stolen from their home. No, this is a this is a whole nother energy that I'm picking up. This is the messy shit. Okay, I don't I don't see how y'all get down doing that bullshit. I'm sorry. I know that sounds judgmental, but yes, you don't do shit like that. If these are your friends, how the fuck is you messing around with your friends' partner? If you're gonna have extracurricular activities why not do it outside of your marriage or how about wait till you get a divorce or you and that person decide to go y'all separate ways you know what i'm saying come on now out of respect not just for your friends but for your love and for yourself have some self respect for yourself okay i feel like this is gonna blow up in your face i'm gonna keep it real you and that person's face y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all stuff I'm keep it real, okay? Yeah, this person has some type of expectations. You could have lied to their ass and told them all types of shit. What I'm feeling also picking up is that the sex was really good. That's why you continue the affair. I'm feeling you guys been having an affair for a year or more. What else, spirit? Because I'm going to get out this messy shit. Spit anything else for this situation, please. Spirit. Ooh. Spirit, anything else before I close it out with this deck, please? And thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Spirit, no, I want to get out of this shit because it's, it's a messy shit. Messy. Messy, 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 and messy. Okay? It's some, some fucked up shit. Really fucked up. That's some shady ass shit. <laughs> I'm a stress and you don't like it. Click the fuck off because I really don't give two shits. That's some messy ass shit for you to do not only to your partner, but to do to your friend. And I feel like you've been knowing this friend for quite some years. Yeah, look at this bullshit. 
this some bullshit, y'all. Seriously, this some fucked up shit. I feel like this other couple is in some type of open marriage situation. Situation shit. Shit. I don't know if you had a threesome with them. Because that's what I'm picking up now. Like, But your, your partner don't know about this. Either they don't believe in it, they're not into it. Wow, this even this even more messy. <laughs> okay, this even more messy. It's amazing when you get a different deck of cards, you start picking up more deep into the situation. This is some type of fucking love triangle too. I'm picking up. I feel like this other couple who you fucked around with. For those of you who've been doing threesomes outside of your partnership, that couple had hots for you. And you just like it because it's, it's exciting and it's being done behind closed doors, which is still fucked up. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have water in your truck. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they could have divulged how much they really feel in you. This is amazing. Like somebody's gonna be really heartbroken. It's so messed up. Oh my god, spirit, really? Okay, what I'm getting also. I need a, a damn glass of wine. Oh Why y'all get me in this mess? I know I be nosy and all, but goddamn, I don't like to see nobody hurt. I really don't. I don't like shit being done in the dark. That's why I'm here to pull that shit out. But it's just heartbreaking, you guys. Uh, I gotta say, it's heartbreaking. Okay, so this is mainly about sex. Like all three of you are sexually attracted to each other, like strongly sexually. The, the sex is, is off the chart. Um, you get to explore more that you don't do with your partner. Your partner not into things that you're into. So I'm, I'm feeling you with the wrong person, okay? So why continue to drag them on, lead them on in a partnership that you're not happy in? That's your decision, okay? I'm also picking up that you and these this married couple have thought about, or have, how can I say it, have uh, conversated about excuse me, have conversated about you leaving your partner, whether you're married or in some type of commitment with them, um, walking away from this partner and coming towards them and being in a polygamy relationship, I know you'll know who you are. And for some reason, I feel like you finna actually share this with those two individuals too. I don't give a fuck. Let them listen to this. Because what's gonna happen is... The outcome is going to be very devastating. I know you can't be responsible for what your partner chooses to do after you do this. If you choose, because I think, I honestly feel picking up that you are thinking about being in a polygamy relationship with this, this couple. But what y'all fail to realize is what I'm picking up for this person, your partner. It's not good. They're going to be... like severely depressed. I don't know if they're taking medication for back pain, lower back pain, or some type of surgery they could have had on their back or will be having a procedure done on their back is some type of injury that they had. But they're going to be addicted to the drug, the narcotics that they have to take. I also feel that this person is going to be severely depressed and they're going to be uh, diagnosed as clinically depressed. Just from that situation, not the back issue, the situation that they were kept in the dark about everything that you and their alleged friends were doing behind closed doors, okay? Honestly, pick up that this person 
may try to overdose on those um, narcotics that they're taking, to be honest. Okay? I'm not saying don't choose to be happy. That's not what I'm saying. I just... You have to figure out a way to... I don't think you should lie to them. I think you should be honest. But like I said before, you can't be responsible for another human being's decision or their actions in regards to how to react towards what you're doing. Okay? And it's very uh, it's very sad. Uh, I'm just at an awe right now. I know it happens a lot. You know, sometimes people are, end up being with people thinking they're everything that they need in a person and that they'll be happy in a marriage or commitment. And then some years down the road, things change, people change. And then some of you, you find yourself. So I'm not judging you. I just feel like how things went about. And I know everybody don't know what's going to take place in the future, how they're going to feel. It is what it is. This is called life. I just feel really bad for your partner. Okay, I feel really bad for your partner. I feel really bad for your partner. Uh, so, if you have any more messages for this uh, this situation, please? I just want to close out, please. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna choose to walk away from your partner. We have the eight of cups here, and that's your decision. You you have a right to do so. Okay, you have a right to be happy and not be in a relationship or commitment or a union with this person if you're not happy. I understand, okay? I just feel bad for your partner. Yeah, this person is going to be extremely clamped and depressed. Uh -huh. so anything else? Yeah, you gotta. Oh wow. Mm. Hold on before I say that. If it's what I think it is, spirit. Mm -hmm. So I feel you and that couple. You guys are gonna move out of state, or stay, move out of state, but stay in the same. Um, yeah, move out of state. Spirit said move out of state. Because I was going to say um, move out of city. But Spirit channel that says state. So I feel like you and that couple um, are actually going to move out of state. And you guys are going to be in a polygamy relationship. I feel like you guys want to buy a house. Purchase a house. Yeah. I don't know if they have it where you guys can be married. Because I just got the four of wands. So... Oh, wow. I feel like you guys are going to be happy, though. You're going to be happy. But your love interest is just going to be heartbroken. But shortly after, I feel that they're going to uh, understand that things happen. And they had a feeling that because you could have possibly sat down and spoke to them about how you're feeling and how you wanted to explore in your relationship and they chose not to because they wasn't into it. I think there was more fearful that you would leave them. So, yeah. But you and this this couple are going to be extremely happy. I see you guys traveling. I see you guys purchasing a home. I also see you guys um, was it traveling, purchasing a home. Just being happy. Nobody's going to be jealous of the other person. Yeah, and I, I think you picked this up too, how happy they make you. And they picked up how happy you make them. You guys are just happy. So, I mean, it is what it is. Somebody could be a Capricorn. Sorry, y'all, my nose hit you. So, I mean, I'm also picking to see the two of you out the three are going to find a job out there immediately before you, you guys even travel out there. I don't know which three. I just, I mean, which two out of the three. The couple may actually don't want you to work. I don't know if you're more feminine or something. <laughs> yeah, but you still want to look for work for some reason, part-time or something like that. 
You could be younger than this couple. Not like drastically younger, but younger. But I do see some type of marriage. You guys getting some type of paperwork to make it legal. What else here? Is there any other messages for this particular individual? Somebody could have Leo in their chart. Or some type of fire sign. Yeah, y'all sex is off the chain. Y'all really explore and have a good time. You guys don't feel like nobody's going to stab each other in the back, but your, your partner going to feel like, how could they be so stupid? But I feel like they're going to find someone else. They're going to get themselves out of this rut. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, they'll find someone else. Um, it's going to take them a minute because they're going to have to heal from the situation, but they're going to be fine. I don't know if your love interest is a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart. And they could possibly meet uh, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or they have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in their chart. Ooh. Okay, Spirit, before I close out, are there any messages for anyone? Okay. Yeah, this couple, they fulfill all your needs and you fulfill theirs. And you've chose them. <clears throat> you feel more stable with them, at peace with them. You can be yourself. You guys can explore without anyone judging you. And this is all three of you. You can explore without anyone judging you guys. Yeah. You guys, when are you going to receive some type of message also? Could be from a fire sign. Or you guys are going to be messaging each other, like via email. Talking about the situation, showing each other houses. I don't know if they want you to be pregnant or to get in vitro and so that you guys can have a family. That's what I'm picking up. It's for somebody. They feel you more stronger mentally to carry a child than either of them two. I'm feeling like you're the only one who can carry the child. I don't know if these other two <clears throat> are able to carry a child. Or you have the body for it. Like, <laughs> you don't have to worry about, um, how should I say it? You don't have to worry about gaining more weight. I guess it's something with your physique, the way you're built. Yeah, they give you a little recognition. They care for you. They're attentive to you. Very attentive to you. You love the way they caress your body, kiss you, make you feel wanted and needed. Yeah, we got the four of wands again. Yeah, you guys are going to get married. You're going to have some type of legally binding documentation saying that you guys are together, all three of you. But, I mean, it is what it is. I see you guys being happy and building some type of family as well. Um, Whoever the head is in regards to the soul... What do you call it? The sole um, provider with the couple. I feel like you guys are going to have some type of business. This person is very entrepreneurship type of individual. Could be an Aries. Um, this is somebody who's a go-getter. Get, go it's like they have straight up tunnel vision. And that's what's needs to be done to take care of you two. Anything else here? Yeah, they, I, I feel like you guys, all three of you feel like you guys were guided together and this is what you really wanted. Um, you were struggling and wondering if that's what you really wanted, but you wasn't for certain. Um, that's why you chose to be with your partner at that time. But I feel like you guys are going to be really happy. Um, somebody is a uh, Gemini. Anything else for it? 
Sorry, guys. Is there anything else I can close out, please? Thank you. Yeah, you contemplated on it. You wanted Herman Mole. You actually stopped messing around with them for a while and asked them to give you some space so that you can make the right decision what's best for you. But I feel that you are going to choose to walk away from your lover. And you guys are going to be happy. It is what it is. Um, somebody's watching you. I don't know who that is. Could be the couple. <laughs> Wondering if they're going to lose you is what I'm picking up. But from whomever this is for, you're going to be happy. So no judgment here. You have to do what's best for you. Okay. You can't be for, you know, your partner. You are most important. You know, you have to think about what benefits you, what makes you happy. Okay. So no judgment here. Um, I just feel sad for your partner. So, but you guys have to do what's best for you. So take care of yourselves. Teach your own. Love and light.